What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Gemini Jits fan video. And today we're going to be doing a very uh, exciting video because this question gets asked to me on a daily basis about, not joking, 10 to 15 times a day, different people. So that question is, what is your favorite aircraft or airplane? And that will be answered today, my top 10. Uh, my top 10 will be from 10 being the favorite, but like not the very best figure, and then one being my absolute favorite, favorite aircraft. With that being said, let's get uh, right into this video. But before we do, I want to give a huge shout out to Red River Aviation for letting me use these pictures um, for today's video. Uh, go check out his um, YouTube and his Instagram and stuff. They will be uh, YouTube will be linked up and down below along with the IG as well. So check him out, follow him, and do all that good stuff. Get him um, to like a lot of followers, uh, like 3K or something, uh, and up. Uh, but with that being said, let's get right into this video. Please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on the post notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a brand new video. Starting up with number 10, and number 10 is the Airbus A319. The reason I put this in 10th place and nowhere below that, and that is just because, one, the aircraft is, like, pretty small. Like, it's pretty much a bus, and if you think of a bus, a bus is, like, crammed. Like, everything is, like, crammed together. Um, Baby bus are, like... They look like they're, like, all fit, like, all crammed together. So, that's what kind of makes me, like, like give me that little, like, feel, like, weird feel. But, um, other than that, the aircraft outside and the shape of it and everything, it's awesome. So, number 10. And next up, right after that, for number 9, we had the Mitsubishi, or Bombardier, CRJ900. The reason I like this aircraft is because I like the way it's shaped, like, like the wings. It's like a really small aircraft, like, it's not too, too big. It's not, it, like, it's not, like, big wide, and it's, like, it could fit, like, anywhere. Like, basically, it could go to any small airport, so you can basically take this anywhere in the world. Uh, I think it probably would do for Lukla, but we'll see on an upcoming video. Uh, if we can or not, but it would be awesome if it actually could because you can take this plane pretty much around the world. It gets quick stopper and pretty much fits everywhere. So yeah. And next up, coming at number eight, we have the Boeing seven thirty seven seven hundred. The reason I like this aircraft is because um, this aircraft is not the one like the two two big seven thirty seven like the seven thirty seven nine hundred. Or the two two short seven thirty seven like the classic variant seven thirty seven one hundred dash two hundred three hundred four hundred five hundred like those are like quite short. Uh, this one is not as short. This one is like middle size, and it's another aircraft that pretty much can go anywhere. It can even land on gravel if I'm not incorrect. And next up, coming at number seven, we have the Boeing seven six seven three hundred. The reason I like this aircraft is because it's a mid range it's a mid-sized aircraft. Um, it's not one of those very packed uh, aircraft, and this aircraft is pretty much, um, I've never flown on it, but I just like the, like, the way it is, uh, without the winglets and, like, the flare when it's landing, like, the, like, like, the, um, I like the, like, when the landing gear flip and stuff, so it's pretty, really good. And next up, coming at number six, we have the beautiful, beautiful Boeing 777-300ER. I love this aircraft because the engines make such a very nice, like, sound. Like, that very loud sound on takeoff when they're getting the power is like, ooh, it's like so, so fun, like, to hear. I would love to go spotting a 777. I would be super, super happy. Next up, we are at number five. So we've now reached the top five of the aircraft. The next aircraft will be the Boeing 737-400 series. So I can say a lot about this aircraft because I've flown on it various times. I love, like, this plane is gorgeous. Like, when you board, like, the engine sound and when you're taking off, is like, when you're climbing, like, the wing kind of, like, goes, like, bend up a little bit. It can't, like, bend up as much because it's, like not very like 
It's not like a triple seven that has a wing flex. This one is just like like regular. So it's like gorgeous. Like if you have not flown 737 400, I highly recommend you to do so. I've flown them with Swift Air. So yeah. And next up at number four, we have the beautiful Embraer ERJ 145. This aircraft, I like it because it's like one of those aircraft that's like not noisy at all. So like you can basically just like, it will take off and it won't make noise at all. It's literally a rocket ship climbing. Like it climbs so fast. Like I've seen them climb and it's like, woof, it's super fast. So that's what I really like about this aircraft. Next up, we have the very nice and very comfy A320. I've flown this aircraft as well as the 737-400. I've flown this one many times with JetBlue on flights to Cuba, and it's amazing. The A320 is super, super good uh, for JetBlue inside at least. I don't know any other airlines, but JetBlue has a very, very nice uh, A320s. Uh, no, Not very uh, old interior. They're actually really fun, and I really do, did like them. So I do like the A320 for that reason. It's very comfortable. And right along after that, we have number two. For number two, we have the beautiful Embraer Air or the E-175. I like this aircraft because this aircraft is like one of those other aircraft. This one makes like almost no noise either. It's pretty cool. It's like mid-size. It's not that huge of an aircraft. And it's like, it's also one of those planes that can pretty much land everywhere. And I like it a lot. And then right here, we have my queen, and I'm sure she is lots of other people queen, the beautiful one and only 757-200. I love this aircraft. I literally love it so much. Like, this aircraft is, like, gorgeous. I love it. This is a fast stopper. This aircraft has been an iconic aircraft over the year. With being able to land at the, one of the highest airports of approach, Tincantin, Honduras, he has been able to own the land to land in um, uh, the short runway in uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. He was used to fly to Brasilia. This aircraft used to fly to Peru. Very mi mountainous areas from Miami. Literally, this aircraft can pretty much operate anywhere. You can throw this airplane on ice and it will do it. Just like the um, that airline, Titanic Airways, flew 757 to St. Helena. The shortest runway and the highest one to land at with a lot of wind gusts like all the time. And they have made it to Antarctica on the 757. So this is an iconic aircraft that has made history in the aviation community for a very long time. And I love this airplane. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on the post notification bell, so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. There you go. You guys know that my favorite aircraft is the gorgeous 757-200. So that is awesome. Now you know that my favorite aircraft is 757. And you don't have to wander around anymore. So you don't have to be saying, Yeah, man, it's fine. What's your favorite aircraft? Here you go. This is the surprise. The beautiful 757-200. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.